I fell in love with the great man. I fell in love with the man people respected, people feared. He once ruled this city. He was once the king. I hung on his every action, his every word. I was in awe. It didn't start off like that. I wasn't the type of girl to follow the glory. Oh no, I was there from the beginning. I was the great woman behind the great man. He ruled with an iron fist. He didn't even have to do anything. People just knew. Reputation's a wonderful thing, don't you think? He was a completely different person outside of all this. A fabulous father, an amazing husband. All the corruption and violence was just a job. We didn't give it a second thought. But the years went by and new faces came in with new personalities and new ways of thinking. Larry could step back. We both could. Our world became more of a legitimate business, more relaxed. Larry became a slippers man. The type of guy you phoned if there was a problem, which wasn't often. The organisation was running like a dream. Each month it was running better. Each month there was less to do. That's when the boredom set in. For me. So. I decided to take matters into my own hands. I met Mick in a nightclub. He was in town on business. It wasn't Mick who gave me the thrill. He was just a poor. It was the thrill of the whole situation. The thrill of getting caught. Oh yeah, I knew I'd get caught. Well, everybody knew Larry. Everybody loved Larry. I knew it was only a matter of time before one of his buddies spotted us in the cinema or the art gallery of the museum. That's why I chose them places. I wanted to get caught. Mick fell in love, though. Didn't really want that. What I wanted was to get Larry back. The old Larry back. It was April Fool's Day when Larry confronted me over the affair. He was absolutely furious. I was enjoying every single minute of it. The veins on his temple were throbbing. The man I married was back. Everything came out. I told him how he was destroying me. How he was a shadow of his former self. He made me do what I did. I've seen Larry angry over the years. Witnessed him do some terrible things. He has this twitch. It's like a catalyst for mayhem. I told him all about me. Oh yeah. I knew it would make matters worse, but that's what I wanted. I wanted worse. He demanded to know where he was. So, when Larry demands you simply give up the goods. Watching my husband revert back to his old self was truly the most rewarding part of all this. Totally inspirational. Watching Larry beat Mick down at the docks was like Watching reruns of your favourite chap. Did I feel sorry for Mick at all? Who the hell was Mick? Hey.